How to use the MACD indicator, the moving average convergence divergence. We're going to get into some technical analysis with some gematria today. Make sure you watch this full video because this one is a banger. What's up, everybody? Art Turner, Data Productions Media, Dreams Are Tangible Aspirations, where we scheme our dreams into existence. Like I said in the intro, we're going to have a banger of a video. Very informative. This is going to go along with my technical analysis gematria series. We've already went over the 200 SMA. We've already went over the RSI. Now let's get that, that trio finished of setups that you need, the indicators you need for a positive setup. And that's the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. This is already up and ready to go on the uh, on my data productions media website so please pull it up and follow along with me as we go along this is very informative today it's going to wrap a lot of things home moving average convergence divergence macd is a trend following momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages of a securities price the MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26 period exponential moving average EMA with the 12 period EMA. So that's the definition. Getting straight into the gematria, we can see moving average convergence divergence MACD is a trend following momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages of a securities price. The MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26 period exponential moving average EMA from the 12 period EMA that equals shoot 10,222 in satanic so you see that you have that 222 on the on that uh, end of that uh, 1 and 0 222 you know we love seeing that then for the next one I just added investopedia at the end and we get 1,222 in the single reduction cipher so now see this one so with the definition, I just took the parentheses out and I didn't add the Investopedia to it. So I get 20,222 in the triagonal cipher, which is uh, based in mathematics, the triangle, three. So we have four twos in that. We love seeing that. The MACD is important. Then I just took the formula of MACD. MACD equals... 12 period EMA minus uh, 26 period EMA and that equals 133 in reverse reduction we love seeing that 133 that's a key investing number the formula for MACD is MACD equals 12 period EMA minus 26 period EMA 222 in single reduction and 222 in single KV reduction where K is 11 V is 22 for the master numbers very important so right here you can see some of the uh you know the histogram in the chart so you can look this up yourself this is a uh convergence right right here when they converge together when they cross and you want to get that green up that's where the momentum so you want to go red to green you know it's bearish momentum when it goes from green to red so that's what you need to look out for for macd now let's get into some of the limitations of the MACD and what to look out for and how you can protect against it. One of the main problems with divergence is that it can often signal a possible reversal, but then no actual reversal actually happens. It produces a false positive. The other problem is that divergence doesn't forecast all reversals. In other words, it predicts too many reversals that don't occur and not enough real price reversals. False positive divergence often occurs when the price of an asset moves sideways, such as a, in a range or a triangle pattern following a trend, a slowdown in momentum. Sideways movement or slow trending movement of a price will cause MACD to pull away from its prior extremes and gravitate towards that zero lines, even in the absence of a true reversal. So that's important. Um, th just using the MACD alone, you, you know, it's, it's better than not using it, but you also have to understand what it can't do. You have to first understand what it can do and then understand the other side of the coin, what it can't do. Let's make sure we have the gematria behind it to confirm all of this. 
False positives in MACD are common. That's 1,333 in the satanic uh, cipher. All right, we see it in the satanic cipher, 333. So that should pop up to like, okay, it's for real, for real. Take note and say, you know, false positives are common. We probably can't use this solely um, to our advantage. We have to use a couple other indicators as well, and which we're going to get into. MACD does not forecast all reversals. 119 in reduction. We've talked about uh, 119 a lot. You know, that 11.9, that 9.11, what that means, alert, 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 okay. So we understand what the first two. MACD is a lagging indicator. 303 in fans, Francis Bacon, and I do have experience with this. I understand this is a lagging indicator. I'm still uh, a pretty new trader, investor in the market, you know, still under uh, two years, going on two years at this point. In my experience of trying to get better of just day trading, um, I use TD and Meritrade, right? And so when I use my setups, not only with MACD, I'm going to get into the, the setup soon, but when I use my setups, I've noticed that uh, I have to wait even five minutes after that uh, that diver that convergence happens on the MACD, right? The price doesn't actually um, drop until five minutes after you really kind of see the the divergence on the uh, on the app. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. Um, it lags, right? It's it's lagging information, so it takes time for it to process. Um, so don't get ahead of yourself. And so that's great to see right there. Now let's get into how to protect against MACD false positives. Protect against false positives on MACD with increased volume on upward convergence. 331 in reduction. So with this, when you're using MACD, you really need to be looking at volume as well. If there's not volume coming to the stock, that's where it's coming back and saying the side where the sideways movements can uh, produce those false positives. So if you're using MACD, almost volume has to come along with it. And when you see a convergence to the upside, you want to see that increased volume as well to get that upwards push. I feel like that's really the safest way, bare bottom way to really uh, get that going. And you can see with a back test, Gematria decode, we like the back test. Increased volume confirms a MACD convergence, 137 in the septenary cipher. All right, we like seeing that. It's the 33rd prime. Protect against false positives on MACD with increased volume, 777 in Francis Bacon, 777, very important number, powerful, divine. We like seeing it in the Francis Bacon because it's case sensitive. It also, it goes along with this one, back testing, right? Protect against false positives on MACD. So in the Chaldean, it's 133. So it's telling you, you need, to, you need to protect against it. You need to think for it because that's good for investing. But also, it equals 1,777 in the Fibonacci, which nicely correlates with uh, 777 in the Francis Bacon with the increased volume, right? So that's how you can protect yourself. If there's volume coming in and you have that MACD setup converging on, that's where you want to be, right? So look, you want volume candles coming up on that, right? That's how you protect your money when using MACD. So it's really, I wouldn't necessarily use it uh, single myself, but... You know, it's still really good indicator to have when you have other tools with it. But I just want to let you guys know I have a Patreon where you can support the growth of Data Productions Media. I have Gematria Stocks newsletters and notes. I just dropped a, a Gematria Stocks newsletter. You can get that for only five dollars a month. I have bangers in there, over thousands of connections uh, with Gematria. Um, we're doing big things. You know, 2022 is going to be our year. We like small caps. They're low right now, but they're going to go up very soon. If you love my monthly sports documentaries, that's also $5 a month. Right now, I have seven sports documentaries up, 30 minutes long, long form documentaries. They're all bangers. I have another one coming from the King Richard movie, Tennis, Elite, Royalty, Will Smith, 
It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be beating Netflix. This is way better content than Netflix. You learn and it's entertaining. So if you want to support, that's how you can do it. If you want to support both, if you want both for only $8.63 a month, you can get the Dream Schemers Ultimate Woke Pack. That's a $1.37 discount, the 33rd Prime. That's the a, a really good deal. Not only you can help make help yourself make money, you can also awaken your mind with some entertainment within the sports world. So if you want to help me out right now, that's the Data Productions uh, Patreon page. Now, let's get back to the video. So now we're going to get into one of my basic setups I like using with three indicators, the RSI, MACD, and volume. This is a basic setup that anyone can use that you can get in and out of trades easily. I like using it. Anyone can do it. You just got to learn and hone in on this skill. But before we get into that gematria, I have another movie gematria gem for you that maybe will help your trading, and it should. So it's from the movie Wall Street in 1987. That's when it dropped. One of the main characters was Charlie Sheen, a young Charlie Sheen at that. And as you will see at the one hour and 37 minute mark, one hour and 37, 137, the 33rd prime, some very important information is discussed in this part and really key in on what they're saying and relate it to the current state of society and how things really haven't changed. I started it just before the one hour and 37 minute mark so you can see the, the build up to it and to the, my next point. You got 90% of the American public out there with little or no net worth. I create nothing. I own. We make the rules, pal. The news, war, peace, spam, and upheaval, the price of a paper clip. We picked that rabbit out of the hat where everybody sits out there wondering how the hell we did it. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? Hopefully, you like that clip, and hopefully, it sobered you, and you can internalize it. Rewind that clip if you have to, and take it in, because this is the financial markets. This is how things work, right? I'm here to, to help learn and teach with you guys, teach and learn together. But we have to understand the game that we're playing and we got to get ready to play this game and how just the matrix is. So that's that Wall Street clip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Also from that clip, I wanted to pull up this article because, you know, almost 30 years later, nothing has changed. So I wanted to pull up this article that came out pretty recently in October 18, 2021. The wealthiest 10% of Americans own a record 89% of all U.S. stocks. What did that uh, clip say in the Wall Street video? He said, you know, 90% of Americans don't have any net worth. So this is really close. This is from uh, CNBC Wealth. So take a look at this article online. You can look it up. This is pretty recent. The wealthiest 10% of Americans own a record 89% of all U.S. stocks. So the top 10% owns almost 90% not too far off from what it was in 1987. Now get into the gematria of the RSI MACD volume setup. This is what I have. The RSI MACD volume combo, 331 in reverse or no, okay, 33. Bam, we know that. RSI MACD volume, easy, 56 reduction. What else equals 56 a reduction? Society of Jesus, you know, control. You keep it control. It also equals 1,222 in Jewish. We have that 222. We understand that. A RSI MACD in volume setup is successful. We have 506 in reverse ordinal to go with 56. We also have 133 in Chaldean. So we see that's a positive investing number right there. But also look, protect against false positives on MACD, 133 Chaldean. A RSI MACD in volume setup is successful, 133 in Chaldean. So that's how you protect if you just have this simple setup. When the RSI is in, you know, more in oversold territory, it's not overbought. The MACD is about to converge and the volume is about to come in. That's how you really know, okay, things are working. Get in the trade and go up. And then you have that 1,331 in prime. So you have that 33 sandwiched in between. So that's what I have for you guys today. 
I also want to give a shout out and an invitation to everyone who sees this video to join my Discord, Data Capital. We're doing amazing things in here. It's a great, positive community where we talk stocks to make money. We talk about life and society to grow mentally. We do all these things. So this is an open invitation to you all. It's free. Um, I'm just trying to grow it so we can all, you know, grow together. Um, I think, you know, we're going to do a lot of big things this year, and I would love to have you a part of it. Link in the description below or in the comments section, and uh, we'll see you soon. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully, you learned something from the MACD definitions with the Gematria, the Wall Street video, the setup I gave you, something. There is something in here that we all can learn, and obviously, you can always go back and rewatch. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have some thoughts or if you want to add something to it. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, but with that being said, Art Turner, Data Productions Media, Dreams Are Tangible Aspirations, where we scheme our dreams into existence. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.